Hi, it's Andy, and welcome to volume three of the brand new series from Sun Isle. Today, we're going to help you build your development plan and we're going to help you take action. Andy Kelly, CEO, Sundial Consulting. Hopefully by now, you've built that rounded self-awareness. You've got a deep understanding of who you are and where you came from, your purpose in life maybe, uh, your preferences, your hopes and fears, your strengths and weaknesses, and definitely the desired future brand about what you're going to do for this company differently, how you're going to show up differently right? Uh, Carl Jung said, famous psychiatrist said, when I fully accept who I am, then I can change. That's you. Now is the time to take action. You have to do something differently. If you're going to want a different outcome, a different brand, you're probably going to have to do something differently. Because we see who you are. That's what we go on. You know, who you are stands over you so loud, it kind of thunders. So we can't hear what you say. <laughs> so you need to take action. That might be amplifying some strengths that you already have, that you've not been really amplifying and turning up. It might be developing some um, blind spots, or it might be taking on some brand new behaviors or characteristics that you haven't had before. But this is the exciting time. This is when things start to happen. For example, you know, if you want to have a stronger voice in your company and in its direction or in your division, and you want to be involved in bigger decisions, then you're probably gonna to have to work on communicating with impact you're probably gonna to have to work on building your network. That would be part of your development plan. You know, for me, when I came back from my toughest bit of feedback, when I came back from the mountain with my PhD psychologist coach who hung me over a chasm, um, I came back, I was in shock, then I went into denial like we all do. But then I got aware and I got curious about what I could do differently and then I took action. And, you know, and you can just start with very small things, micro habits. You know, I started to be more curious about my people. I started to ask them questions more than tell them things. I started to make less jokes in meetings with peers and started to show up more professionally. I stopped cancelling my team meetings. I actually extended them and had more. I took my team away for two days and got to know them about their ambitions and their strengths and weaknesses and fears and areas of development and what they needed from me as their leader to be even better. I started getting invited to important strategic meetings at the company. They sent me to Harvard to get more educated on their business and where they were taking it. It was a great time, it was tough, it was uncomfortable, but it really, really helped. So that's the opportunity for you now. But I want you to be super crisp about what it is you're going to invest in, right? Because most of us find change difficult. Only 25% of people but say that they are naturally effective at change. Most of us normal mortals struggle with it, right? It's hard. So I want you to be super crisp about the exact areas that you're gonna work on in your development. So I want you to run a little exercise. I want you to think about all of the people that you have been inspired by, that have impressed you, that you've been proud of in your life, whether it be at school, at college, in sports, in business, in politics. And what was it that they had? What were the behaviours or the characteristics that really inspired you, that you thought were so impressive? And I want you to create a list, right? And I want you to be really generous with it, as long as list as you can come up with. And I then want you to compare it with the gap analysis you did, the gap analysis you did around your, your self-awareness and your desired future, okay? And what characteristics in here are gonna help you? to move from where you are now to where you want to be. And I want you to focus it down to two or three, right? So I want you to try and think of two or three ideas of areas of development, and then I want you to look at them and do they complement your value system? Do they really help you go where you want to go? Will they make you happier? Will you be excited to work on them? You know, because I said change is difficult, but it helps if you've got some motivation, right? If, if you think you're gonna be excited to kind of tick these off and become good in these areas, it's really gonna help you get through change. You know, Abraham Lincoln said, I'm not bound to succeed, but I am bound to live up to the light that I have. That's the opportunity for you, right? Now, there are a couple of things that are gonna probably get in your way 
Um, and we want to help you with those and we want to help you really build this development plan. In fact, we're going to run a whole other series on develop, building your development plan and executing your development plan. So please make sure that you subscribe to the link above to make sure that you don't miss that next video series from Sundial. But a couple of things that will potentially get in your way and slow you down in your development will be your friends and yourself, right? As I said before, people find it uncomfortable when you change because it might mean that they have to change. They wanna keep you as you are. They want you to stay in place so they can stay in place, right? It was the same for me. Everybody wanted me to stay as Kelly Boy, that, that funny guy that they had in meetings. They didn't want me to be more professional, right? And it's hard. So obviously you can try to help your, your friends understand, but ultimately do not keep negative people around you when you're going through change. It's hard enough as it is, right? It really is. Secondly, it's yourself, right? Don't let your ego get in your way. Your ego is the enemy, all right? You are going to fail. You are gonna make, make mistakes and do things wrong. That's good. That's when you learn, right? But the ego gets in the way. And also people with egos, they talk a lot about what they're going to do, but they don't necessarily do anything, right? You need to do something, you need to take action, right? Think about what it is you want to do rather than who it is you want to be. You'll get there. The doing will help you get there and we're gonna tell you how to market that in the next series, okay? So now's your time. This is gonna get exciting. We're going to give you a gift we're going to give you a simple structured development template that you can put all this into and help you monitor your progress and measure your progress. So, so please subscribe to our website. It's in the link above. It's got a lot of jumbled letters. Click on that link. It will take you through to the website. Those of you that are already in Club Sundial, don't worry. That email is already going to be coming to you directly. Okay. But now's the exciting time. We want to hear about what you do next. We want to hear about your stories of change and development. We want to hear how you are improving your brand. That is why I get out of bed. Please let us know whether it be on LinkedIn or whether it be on our website. We'd love to hear your stories. But good luck. We look forward to seeing you in the next volume. But for now, Andy Kelly, CEO, Sundog Consulting. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please share it with your friends and let us know with a like or a comment. But more importantly, please subscribe on the button below. And also, if you really don't want to miss out on any of our great insights from me and my team, please also click the little bell. Okay, we look forward to speaking to you soon. For now, Andy Kelly, Sundar Consulting. Thank you.